Last night at a Ward F community meeting, Ward F residents had an opportunity to ask their elected officials, including Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop, public safety officials, and council members, questions about the issues most important to them. Some of the issues that were raised included public safety concerns, community policing, the property revaluation, and the legalization of marijuana. The biggest challenge I feel about community policing is going to be the summer months. Right now everybody's in school, but the summer months are really going to be the challenge. And I was glad to hear that you say that you have something that's going to be rolled out in May. And I'm just wondering if you'll be able to come back to our community and talk about a little bit more detail about it and how we can help you uh, make the summer months a lot more successful and safe. Let, let me just say that uh, we're only going to run it in the warmer weather from May through October 31st. And then we're going to get back into a training mode. You see, you have to also continually train your police officers. So we're going to run it from about May 15th right through October 31st. And uh, the training component is what makes this key. You've all seen walking cops. And they've been about zero effective. And it's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's up to us to give them a set of expectations and a training uh, methodology that, that, that gives us the best bang for our buck. And that's what we're aiming for right now. So I think you'll be excited about it. It's just totally no sense. We are the highest in the nation, and it's trying to call for us even more, which is forcing me out of my home. Oh, okay. I'm, of course, I'm out of my home. I'm almost ready for retirement in another 10 years. I guess I won't be able to live again. I won't be able to do it with my Social Security. My, 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 my taxes is higher than my mortgage by three times. How does that happen? Right? Because the way that my budget works, or your budget, or the city council's budget, we'll say collectively our budget works every year, is no different than your household. Every single year on day one in January 1st, our cost to run the city increases like your cost to run your household. We have union contracts and raises that happen every single year, automatically escalate your cost by millions of dollars. You have insurance premiums that go up every single year, automatically escalating costs for city government. You have costs of goods such as gas and fuel, etc., etc. So how do you balance that? Is by trying to find responsible development, and that's what the council and I have tried to do over the last few years. I can't speak for the last 25 years. I could speak for the last four years and I could speak to this year that we've tried to be really judicious in making sure that we're responsible with your dollars. Um, we've seen four credit rating upgrades by independent sources each of the last four years because we are budgeting better than has been done in the past. So I can't speak to the past. I can tell you what we've done. I think we've done a pretty decent job on that relative to anybody else in the state. I suggest, I don't know what's legally proper with that, but in the corners, the drug dealing going on every corner, if we just activated some kind of a ruling like that, this is the police chief thing, talking about that, it's a matter of what I think that's going to go along with what We are going to be piloting and getting out an app this year that every citizen can download and can report any activity they want to us in their community, either writing it down or just snapping a picture and sending it directly to police officers. So if somebody sees people on a corner that they think are blocking the corner, might not even be criminal, it just might be blocking the corner, making it difficult for people to come by. They could just snap a picture or write it down and just anonymously send it into us. Not only will we handle it, you'll get a response back on how we handled it and what happened at that corner. Immediately. I don't know. What is your stand on the legalization of drugs in the state of New Jersey? Are you with Murphy or are you not? We pushed, and it will be in front of the city council probably in the next month, an ordinance that will restrict probably something you would like, restrict uh, marijuana sales or dispensaries anywhere in Jersey City. And the reason, and, and the goal of that, the goal of that is that ultimately whatever Trenton decides to do, so if Trenton passes something and says now this is legal throughout New Jersey, we want to be able to control where it goes and where it doesn't go ourselves. We don't want to have Trenton saying now it's legal 
And then somebody saying, okay, I'm opening a store right over here. And then we say no, and they say, well, legally I was entitled to do that because you had no restriction. So we're getting ahead of the curve, and we're right now in the process of changing the zoning laws right. so that nothing is allowed in the city. And then once we see what Trenton passes, and we have a conversation throughout the city, we'll work with every single community to decide when and if it moves forward. Mark Busant reporting from Ward F in Jersey City. For Hudson County View, the eye of the community.